Hey gang, Jugular here. Uh, just got back in town and decided to go to Trader's Village, uh, flying solo today. Uh, let's go see what we can find. How much are the games? One time of fun. Uh, eight. Eight each. Eight. How much are the games? The games uh, eight dollars. Eight dollars. How much are the games? Uh, depending on the game. Like this one. Okay. We'll do I mean the whole thing. 35 gold thing? Yeah. And how much is just the money? Okay. 
carrito, ¿no? How much are the games? Uh, which one? Huh? A, 12, 12, 20. Okay. I got my own. The ground. I got my Which are the games? Want the widow? Yeah. What was that in the state? Eh? Yeah. Eight dollars. Eight the games? Uh, let me see. Yeah, come. Uh, six. Six? Just to replace and remember for next time. Because we're out of time today. Uh, WD's this and that. Some machines are kid games like trying some jewelry. And he has some very cool stuff.
There's Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Uh, not today, but uh, now I know where you are. And that's Beast Busters way back there. I think Luke Moore shut that off. So there it is, gang. That's what I did with my first day back in Texas. Uh, I picked up some games while I was there. I just want to go through them real quick. I did pick up uh, Forsaken 64. Uh, someone actually commented that they would like to see me do a review of this, so picked it up so that I could do that. I did pick up uh, the Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. Probably the most expensive thing that I bought, well, second most. Uh, this was $6, and just, I had never seen it before, so it looks like a, an interesting game. I'll find out more about it. Picked up uh, Kirby's Dream Course for the Super Nintendo. Just kind of looked, looked fun to me. Also picked up a, kind of a beat up version, but uh, Final Fight 3. I love the Final Fight series. I like beat em ups, so Final Fight 3 is right along there with me. Uh, <clears throat> picked up Mortal Kombat Trilogy, the PlayStation exclusive version. Edition, sorry, whatever. Exclusive PlayStation edition. Love Mortal Kombat. I don't remember playing it on the PlayStation, but I do have a fighting stick for the PlayStation. So that way, I should actually be able to play it decently. Also picked up, and this doesn't translate well on the camera, or actually kind of Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. It's got the holograph and everything. And the last two games that I picked up, uh, this one, PlayStation 2, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. I actually remember liking this game, so I managed to pick it up. Also picked up Perfect Dark Zero, the collector's edition for the Xbox 360. Now for those of you who know I don't have a 360, you're right, but it's a collector's edition. It was two bucks if I remember right, so I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Now it's got the instruction manual, the little comic, the card, and the bonus DVD as well as the game in here. So for like 250 if I ever get a... 360 again, probably after the whatever new thing is out. And, of course, the last thing I picked up because I have a problem another Xbox. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this makes it up to four, count them, four Xboxes that I have. But, I love the Xbox, it's a hackable device. Uh, this one is probably going to be turned into uh, an unofficial Nintendo just because I like the Xbox. I love the fact that you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Just really like it. So that's what I picked up. Uh, I do also want to mention some of the footage that you just saw at Trader's Village. There were the PlayStation big cases and or long boxes, whatever you want to call them. For five dollars each, I probably should have got some of those, but I passed on them, and that's probably going to be my regret for the for the trip. Oh, two other things that I did get because I forgot about these. I uh, got the Menacer plug and play. So from what I understand, see Menacer right there. And it comes with a few built-in games. I cleaned it up. Haven't had a chance to test it yet, but. I'm uh, going to take it out in the shed whenever it cools down. Ha ha ha. And that way I'll be able to give it a shot. The other one that I got is I picked up the Mad Cats Sega Dreamcast Phaser or whatever this is. And of course, as I am always looking for, came with a VMU. I like picking up things with VMUs because uh, usually whenever I get rid of anything for the Dreamcast I throw in a VMU just because it's generally people look at it and go oh it's got a VMU sweet I'll get it same reason I buy them uh, but that I believe is it uh, unless you count the upgrade that my wife's computer just got brand new uh, video card so now she can play better video games anyways um, that's it for me uh, I just noticed that YouTube is allowing me to put thumbnails on this now, so we may give that a shot. As always, uh, I'll talk to you later. Play on!